play some darts, Liam. <laughs> what are we playing? Do you know how to play darts? I know how to play, but I'm obviously not as going to be as good as you. You've had six weeks playing darts in the jungle. Oh, I'm not really? Sure well, there's a are you good at math? I'm not, I used to work at a bank, so oh. yeah, I should be okay. I can oh. add up. Well, can you add down or subtract? Would be oh, I can subtract, yeah. I might add a phone. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, there's two games we can play. You can play around the world or you can play 301. I think we play around the world. All right. <laughs> That's All right. probably easier. Come on, let's roll with this. Small ones, it's certainly not for you. Geez, you played some bloody darts in there. In, that, in that jungle, you played some um, darts. I did. This one's tiny. I was part of one of yours, mate. That's right, you can buy it. Just remember no, well, where cheers you went. anyway. Yeah, cheers. Good, oh, to, good to catch up you, finally. You got the carton draft. Mm. Bloody oath, I did. Yeah. That's how we roll. All right. Oh. So you're aiming for one, are you? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice. Give me hat. <laughs> now, that is a great start. Give me hat. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, it, counts. It, okay, it counts. Okay, it counts. 100% it counts. You've just been playing for six weeks. What is it? It's going to be competitive, Swanee. Oh, it's going to be competitive. Oh, Unlucky oh. for you. No, no, not for me. All right. So, Piggers, why management and how did you get into it? To be honest, Swanee, I, I, actually, I actually fell into it. Did you? Um, yeah, well, I was, I was retired. That's a bloody good start by me, by the way. Is that a triple one? Yeah, so <laughs> after four. Yeah, well, looks like you're in for a tough day. Yeah, I just fell into it. I was, I'd retired, I was coaching at the Western Jets, and uh, Johnny Longmire, who was at IMG at the time, was um, got a job coaching the Swans under yeah. Ronnie Eads. So he left and made him my best mates, or our best mates. And I'd met him a couple of times, and the next thing they offered me a job, I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh, mate, not much has changed. <laughs> well, I seriously didn't know what I was doing. But <laughs> oh, okay, well. You were one of my early, early signings, Swanee, which was not a bad effort, really. Well, well, that was my next point. Um, <laughs> That's you another one, by the way. I'm not um, So why, did, why me, then, if you, I mean, you're one of this big management company, you probably <laughs> picked a bloke who's got up, or you did have no idea. How did you stumble across my name? Um, well, I asked Johnny Longmire, because that year I coached at the Jets, so I knew who all the talent was, all the big names. So Jard, oh, exactly. All Jard, Hodge, times, Ball. Yeah. Well, there weren't many left. I said to Horst, I said, what about, where are we at with Hodge? Where are we at with Ball? Where are we at with Jard? Where are we at with all these blokes? He said, they're all signed. So I had to go to the next rung. And the next, the next rung, rung was, I was going to say. Well, that was the next rung was a young guy like you that was 17. So you were bottom age. I'm not sure I was the next rung, well, but I was a couple of rungs below. Let's be perfectly honest, I was... Uh, I was scraping the bell, I needed numbers. So I got yourself and James Kelly, Adam Snyder, Dave Roden. Uh, it was a pretty reasonable draft in the finish for us, but um, yeah, so you were one of my prize signings. No, you're one. very lucky, because I'm one of the only ones that have held on. Yeah, you hung in there, you've hung in, I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. You're one of the few, <laughs> I lost a couple of <laughs> That's what right. I mean. A couple of soldiers, but um, anyway. Can you remember coming out to my house? Because I can't really particularly remember it. I'm sure my old man probably does, but. Yeah, I remember it, because I knew Lee Tudor, who was at uh, the Cannons at the time, who's now at North Melbourne, he was telling me that uh, he thought you were a really good chance to get drafted by the Essendon or, good show, that's a double, yeah, uh, Essendon or Collingwood. So when he said that, I basically thought, well, I'll give him a go. He's Billy Swan's son. I know your old man. He was a bit of a legend in the VFA. So yeah. went out and met with you. And I don't think, no one you didn't remember. You didn't actually add anything to the whole conversation. It was really just me interviewing your dad. Yeah, so, well, Dad was making all the rules back then. I was 17. Uh, well, you, he was making all the decisions. Well, you had another year to go in the 18th for memory. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I thought if we got you now, I thought you'd have a really... Because you were good. I knew you could play. I'd watched you play. But it was just a matter of whether they'd take you as a 17-year-old, which you could do back then, or whether they'd... You know, you'd get through until the next year. And I think you would have gone top 10 the next year. But um, got in early and Collingwood called your name out, yeah. which was great. So did you... <laughs> so did you regret... Drafting me for a while there. Signing yet? No. Yeah. Never. Oh, you gave oh, me a few. You gave me, in fairness, you gave me a few issues. That's what I mean. When you had that big brawl at um, Fed Square, which you didn't have a lot to do with, I must say, but um, that's still late. Yeah, it's seven. So you're on 17 now. I I'm can on, count, Len. I'm on 16. You just, I wasn't sure. Yeah, once we had that issue with you with regards to, um, you yeah, know, the fight that was involved with the, yeah. the security guards out at uh, Fed Square, that. Well, it nearly cost you your career, let's be honest. Um, took a lot of fighting to keep you, keep you on the list. Oh, that's, why you're great, that's why you're a great manager. So all those young kids out there watching this, <laughs> is what he does, absolutely. Well, the Sunday night phone call wasn't great at that time, I must say. And uh, the 10 o'clock at night on the Sunday night, when it happened at 2 a.m. on the Sunday morning, meant that I thought when the phone rang and it was you, I thought this might be a bit of an issue. And sure enough, it was. But um, look, from my perspective, and your old man, myself, and you know, I remember going into that meeting, and they, and they had you out. They had you sacked, which was 
without even seeing the vision, and we hadn't seen the vision at that stage, and you're in, your impact in the whole thing was pretty bloody minimal, I thought. So, I thought they jumped the, gun, the, the board jumped the gun a bit, saying that they should get rid of you. It's always been the way in my career. Everything I've been done has been very minimal. I've just been very unlucky. <laughs> been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Liam? 15 years of, 15 years of bad luck. Yeah, fine. <laughs>